I'm logging into my LMS, and I see I can't get right to the link for the Real Chem course materials here. This seems pretty familiar. I've taken other courses that pop out into their own window like this. I kind of like it, because all that Canvas stuff sometimes gets in the way. I'm entering the course, and the first thing I'm asked to do is to complete a survey. It asks me a bunch of questions about how I feel about chemistry. This is good, since I'm concerned this class might be too hard for me. It's helpful to see that the instructor seems to care about what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling. Explorations? This looks cool. I don't quite get it, but real-world relevance isn't what I was expecting when I signed up. Now that I'm in the course, I see my homepage. All the content is nicely organized. There's an Up Next section. It shows what I need to do next, by when, and there are links right there to the material. I can also see how many students have already completed the work. It looks like the others are ahead of me. It makes me a little anxious, but it's good to know. I can see my progress in the course so far. Down below, there's a content area from which I can access each unit, module, and lesson in a clean way, and I can immediately see what my deadlines are. I can also jump in anywhere quickly from the course content menu. I can see how that would be useful. The discussion feature looks interesting. Maybe I'll check that out later. Next up, Unit 2, Atoms, Molecules, and Ions. Let's open the introduction. There's a slick intro video to this unit. Let's take a look. How many objects have you interacted with today? I'm talking food, phones, flowers, doors, your keyboard, possibly even a pet? Maybe a hundred or more things? This video is pretty cool. What if I told you everything you've ever touched? It's easy to understand. Assembled together in different ways. It uses animation, which I like. Illustrations or language. And it does dope stuff like blowing things up. This is awesome. It isn't just a bunch of videos my professor made during the pandemic. 